AFP The Blitz on Hama and Aleppo registered as a monster 2.6 magnitude earthquake The Blitz on Hama and Aleppo registered as a monster 2.6 magnitude earthquake on the planet's seismic monitors. Syrian state TV confirmed bombings from enemy rockets were so loud the terrifying explosions could be heard from one side of Bashar al-Assad's war-torn nation to the other. Syria's army said missiles blew up a handful of bases in the region at 10.30 p.m. last night, with the European Mediterranean Seismological Center recording the blast as an earthquake capable of shaking buildings and shattering windows. One target hit was an Iranian-backed recruitment center for fighters of Assad's army. Bombs that struck weapons factories near Aleppo Airport and the Naira Air Base were also reported. Information on civilian casualties is yet to be released but no Iranians were killed in the strikes. Israel newspaper Haaretz has claimed that Tel Aviv could be behind the recent incident. The country's defense minister, Avigdor Lieberman, recently emphasized Israel had no intention of interfering in domestic Syrian issues. A phone target hit was an Iranian-backed recruitment center for fighters of Assad's army said, We have no intention to attack Russia or to interfere in domestic Syrian issues, but if somebody thinks that it is possible to launch missiles or to attack Israel or even our aircraft, no doubt we will respond and we will respond very forcefully. Middle East expert Danny Maki recently declared conflict in Syria is far from over because of the developing risk of escalation between Tel Aviv and Iran. He said, the airstrikes will continue. If Pwn target hit was an Iranian-backed recruitment center for fighters of Assad's army, a lot of people thought the strikes on the T-4 base was a response to the chemical attack, but it wasn't. Israel are terrified of Iran installing air defenses to protect their bases. The Israelis will continue striking these different targets and there are between 20 to 25 targets to choose from so it will play out considerably over the next year. I can honestly see that there will be dozens more strikes even if it reaches the point where Israeli jets are downed. On April 7, the horrific chemical weapons attack was carried out in Doma prompting a U.S.-led response a week later on April 14 against chemical weapons factories in Damascus. Britain and France also formed a vital part of the devastating response.